Okay. Oh, and he died. <sighs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, Cynic Alex. So Dormammu and Ghost Rider both got transcending new uniforms that basically completely reworked their kit. And they're both flaming headed boys. They're both universals. So I wanted to take them up against Ebony together, not together, but in a comparison video using the exact same team. So the strikers are going to differ a little bit, but otherwise we're looking at the same concept here. We've got max fire damage with both Satana lead and Ghost Panther passive. And then we're just going to see how much damage we can output to basically make Ebony cry. So that's that's uh we're, do, we're doing Spider-Man and Doctor Strange proud. Where are the where are the purple orbs? Okay, he's got a really weird rotation here, but okay, no orbs. That's good. I was gonna say Ghost Rider is really slow, like movement speed wise. So the the purple orbs are actually a little bit difficult to dodge, but um, if he doesn't do them, you don't have to dodge them. That damage was awesome. Did you see that? That damage was awesome. Did you see that? That, when he hits that fourth skill, the damage is awesome. And uh, the good thing I have about the, the... The good news I have about the builds is they're none too expensive for either Ghost Rider or Dormammu. But uh, obviously, Dormammu is a much more expensive character than Ghost Rider. So that obviously has to be taken into consideration. Ooh, okay. We got lucky there. We... Oh. We had to switch. Okay. Bit of a disappointment. We did have to switch, otherwise he was going to die. I got caught uh, sort of lurking under the meteors. But we were able to dodge one of those um, attacks by using our third skill. So you can use his third skill defensively to protect yourself in some cases. Third skill doing work again. We got debuffed by the... Um, there we go. But we got it. A minute and a half. So just under... Just under a minute and a half, a minute and 25 seconds. Not bad at all for stage 65 with two strikers. He can go up to stage 70 for me with five strikers. That takes about two minutes, but his production really starts to drop off after six, after 70 for me. And that's with maximum valor and then a pretty high resist level at 765. So now let's go and grab Dormammu, who I was able to get to level 70 yesterday. I'm not sure. So instead of an all attack buff, he's got an all defense buff. The Dark Proposal with uh, Satana. So just keep that in mind. He's got a different buff than Ghost Rider does uh, the Fiery Companion. I'm not sure if I want a tier 3 Dormammu. He was really expensive. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just kind of I'm reeling. I'm reeling. I'm bleeding. I'm downed. I'm like, ugh. I, you know, it's he was really expensive. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to invest in him. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below what you what you guys want to see um, or if you think it's better to skip Dormammu. But check this out. This is Dormammu. Again, same team here. We're going to go with four. Okay, wow. Three and then five. We're going to proc. We're going to try to proc on five here to apply that all defense down. We're going to try not to get hit so much like we did in the last one there. Oh, we proc'd on three, I believe. We're just moseying along. Again, also very slow. It's funny. They made they made all these characters slow. A little bit faster than Ghost Rider, but also extremely slow. All right? We're going to use four for the iframe ignore. Three, and then five. And that, the really nice thing about five for Dormammu is it's a full iframe. So you leave Ebony just standing there because of the fact that uh, it's a full iframe. That's that's the that's one of the powers of full iframes. So you actually see for a lot of this fight, Ebony doesn't doesn't do anything. Ebony doesn't do anything, right? Because you're you're an iframe. That's that's the power of full iframes. The power of Gray Skull. Okay, we got paralyzed as well, I believe. Back to stacking that all defense down. So I took out. That's why I took out Negasonic, by the way, for those of you wondering. Because she has all defense down and so does um, Dormammu. And so he doesn't need it. He doesn't need her all defense down because he's got his own. Oh no, my fifth skill got canceled. Oh, that's a bummer, dude. That is a bummer sandwich. So I was hoping we would do this about as fast as Ghost Rider. We're a little bit slower, which is funny. Um, what that means essentially is that, well, we got our fifth skill canceled. But what it means is that um, a debuff lead is actually better for Dormammu than the Satana uh, attack. 
So in case you're trying to get the most out of... Wow, this is actually a lot worse than Ghost Rider. Interesting, interesting. So I'll show you guys another comparison right after this. So you guys can see the value. But yeah, uh, the reason why um, you may not want to invest in Dormammu if you've already got uh, a bunch of debuff characters, especially if you're not going to tier 3 him. That, that's become a hot topic, and I might make a video on it separately. But basically, you know, having all these characters, having 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 characters that need a debuff lead, and only having 3 debuff leads. So that was considerably slower than Ghost Rider. Impressive for Ghost Rider. But now let's go ahead and give him his preferred lead. So this would be the preferred lead because he has on his skills, what is it, minus 50? Let's see here. Minus 50 all defense down and minus 60 fire resist. So that minus 60 fire resist is going to go up to minus 84. And the minus 50 all defense down with, with his leadership, power of the soul, is going to go up to minus 70. So minus 84 fire resistance when all your damage is fire. Pretty good. And then minus uh, 70 all defense down. Let's see how much of a dramatic change that is. Going from Satana to Dr. Voodoo. So RIP to the... Um, to all that extra, that 70 fire, that 70% fire damage. So we're going to stack up all these debuffs here. And then we're going to pop this. Look at this damage. Look at this. Yes. Beautiful. All right. There we go. So we're going to slowly crawl away from the meteors. Man, he's like so slow. Okay. There we go. Get the get the proc on five. Nice. Start stacking that fire resist down. Proc on five again. You really want to proc on five if you're using an obelisk. Look at that damage. Woo! He's flying now, boys. He's flying now. Oh no, we had our um. We had our uh, co-op skill taken away from us. It's tragic. Okay, we missed a proc, so we're just gonna try to proc on five here. I love how long of an iframe it is. It's really nice. So you can see the damage is remarkably better, right? You're like, whoa, what's going on? He's doing so much more damage now. He was like 30 seconds behind. Right? And now he is basically on par. Look at that. A minute and a half. He's four seconds slower than Ghost Rider. I mean, Ghost Rider actually could have been faster because I believe I had to switch to, to avoid dying. I lost about 10 seconds there. So he's still a little bit slower than Ghost Panther or the, than Ghost Rider. So many ghosts. Ghost Rider, Ghost Panther. But yeah, you can see the damage just skyrocketed there. Right? He was like 30 seconds faster. Uh, so yeah, in that case... Because Ghost Rider only has one immunity, immunity reduction, he only has that minus 50, it's not really that worth it to use um, a leadership or, or a, a leadership um, effect like Dr. Voodoo or White Fox. Now, the nice thing about White Fox with Ghost Rider is you can also take advantage of this passive to give him all of her Kumiho stance stuff, which is, you know, 55 or 60% increased damage against villains, 10% all attack, immunity to fear if you have the uniform, but... You're only going to be buffing that, which is minus 50, goes to minus 70. That's that's pretty good. Minus 70 fire resist is good, but it's not really that good. So I think it's better to use a leadership like Nick Fury or Satana or Red Hulk for Ghost Rider, which may be more appealing to you if you've already committed Dr. Voodoo, Enchantress, and White Fox to three other characters like, you know, whoever else you use, Doctor Strange or Deadpool or whatever. Uh, Dormammu, on the other hand, is going to excel most with that leadership because he's get, again he's able to use it for his 50% all defense down and his 60% fire resistance down. And the nice thing is um, they both have decent uh, lengths, right? Five seconds and eight seconds. So you'll be able to rely on that proc after proc. Now, as far as the builds go, I'm just going to drop this one on your head here. Uh, Ghost Rider is the same. I'm ranked 250. I've got uh, six star and five star and four star Uru. I've got two of his gears at 22. And then we've got uh, Drastic Density, Stage 8. And we've got the CTP of Judgment. So that was a renewed Ghost Rider with the CTP of Judgment rather than a damage proc obelisk. He is much easier to play when you don't have to worry about proccing on one specific skill, which is a bummer for free-to-play players because it means that, you know, they have to chalk up a Judgment or a Rage, right? It's, it's one or the other because they, those are the only two CTPs that have the 
damage increase for the full five seconds right so that that being said okay keep that in mind and then he's legendary on the uniform dormammu heroic on the uniform not legendary he's ranked 3800 he's got a lot more energy attack partially because he's native tier two partially because his uniform gives him a higher percentage partially because i've got um some odin's blessings on him there some some magic odin's blessings i got three of them but as far as the iso 8 set goes it's power of angry hulk and then we've got a double fire damage 120 proc rather than a 200 proc uh ctp of judgment with chain hit damage right because dormammu's got a decent number of hits uh it's a double fire damage 120 proc so dormammu basically does more with less which is awkward because he's way more expensive than ghost rider right it's 1500 crystals versus a thousand it's 700 1750 crystals to buy the character for crying out loud if you if you didn't get him for free with the old special missions so it's kind of annoying right you have you have a worse build on him and he's better and you pump more into him and he is as good a little bit better but still you saw the playstyle, right the playstyle with ghost rider is like frenetic it's it's very that's why i wanted to make this comparison because when i'm playing with ghost rider i'm like sweating not sweating but I'm, I'm i'm really focused i have to be super focused and i have to i have to really time everything and pay really close attention to what ebony's doing because if he gets out if he hits me i could i could be dead one hit whereas with dormammu i'm just doing it you know three four five cool oh he interrupted me no worries no worries right so many times he interrupted me or he iframed or whatever or he hit me and i was like oh yeah it's okay i mean of course dormammu revives but he's also way tankier just base way tankier right i mean he somehow has the same amount of hp 29,000, but he's got higher defenses uh, and he just he just feels way tankier i don't know what it is he just feels way tankier than ghost rider so hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think of the two fiery boys which one you prefer and which one you think i should invest even more into if i should or if i should skip them both entirely and move on to someone else thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Take care.